is new again. Where is it? It's Joff. What have you brought with you? The very word of God. When the sun is overthrown, when the stars fall, when the mountains vanish, when the camels, big with young, are abandoned, when the wild beasts are herded together, when the seas rise, when the souls are sorted, when the female infant who is buried alive asks for what crime she was killed, when the books are opened, when the sky is torn away, then every soul will know what it has done. Were you there, Jafar, when God gave him these words? Dawn is coming up. Mama, you first. Then you, Jaffa. Ma. You kept your mother awake all night with worry. I'm sorry, Father. Where were you? Have you been with Mohammed again? What will happen now? Forgive him. It was my fault. I did it. That God has helped us all our lives. But it fell. It could not even help itself. What talk have you been listening to? The real God is unseen. He is not made of clay. Mama, we see the gods in the Kaaba every day. I'm afraid for you. You're listening to people who will hurt you. I'm listening to Muhammad, Mother. Mohammed is generous, yes. He gives, he shares. He'll pass no man without a smile. But he is spreading dangerous ideas. Dangerous ideas? That no man should starve? That the rich should not defraud the poor? The strong should not oppress the weak? Are these dangerous ideas? Girls should not be forced into marriage, but be able to choose or refuse. Why, only tonight, he said, stop the burial of newborn girls. I was fortunate, always fortunate with your mother. Yes. But you know that you and I nearly never met, Yassar. And you were nearly never born. I was to be buried, like my two sisters. But my father couldn't do it. He couldn't do it a third time. When the second girl was being... 
but when my father was putting sand over her, she took hold of his finger the way a baby does. He told my mother afterwards that it was a minute before the tender little grip eased and he dared take away his hand. When I was born, my father ran out of the house screaming that he couldn't do it again, that he could never do it again. So, my, uh, it is the custom. But it's wrong. The gods that let such things be are no gods. I promise to go to Muhammad's house, Mother. We pray there. Yes. He's a good man. Yes, you go. Two men are following him. Read? Muhammad can neither write nor read. Nobody can speak. What did you say? He can speak? Well, so can you. So now you speak up, young man. What does Muhammad say? Hmm? They are God's words, not his. Which gods? <laughs> what words? A speaking god? <laughs> <laughs> Your Muhammad speaks only to himself. When God reveals his message to Muhammad, he remembers every word. Then he tells it to those who can write. This is the Koran. Muhammad has starved himself into dreams. He hides under a blanket with his eyes shut. His eyes are shut, but his heart is open. You, kick him for his cleverness. There is no purpose in that. Doesn't Muhammad realize we live by giving housing to the gods? We own the Kaaba. Every year, the tribes of Arabia come here to Mecca to pray and to buy from us. Now, were we to replace 300 gods with just one, whom we cannot even see, who was supposed to be in Taif and Medina, here in my house, in Jerusalem, on the moon? <laughs> where would Mecca be then? The gods are both our worship and our revenue. You cannot buy and sell God. Young man, you are close to the whip. Amal, be sensible, boy. I have a question. Muhammad teaches you a slave is equal to his master. <laughs> is Black Bilal, who I paid money for, equal to me? Yes. Muhammad says, before God, all men are as equal as the teeth of a comb. Oh. This is a very pleasant idea to slaves and beggars. It gives them pretensions. Get up. Teach this man the difference between a lord, a maker, and a slave. Take that whip. Lash his face to teach his mouth a lesson. Whip him! Whip him! Cut him! Whip him! Do it, Bill. Obey them. They'll kill you. See what anarchy they bring. They've even infected our slaves. If you're human enough to have gods, remember, they are the gods of your owner. I bought your humanity, Bilal, when I bought you. 
you will be corrected. stronger now? What? Your master or this one god of yours? One god. There's only one god. Bring the stones. Where the slave was preaching. What? Lord Umaya! Abu Bakr will pay a hundred dinar for this slave. Wait now. It's against our social order to sell a slave during his correction. The offer is to Lord Umaya. Two hundred. If the price of slaves is raised, we shall have to bathe ourselves next year. <laughs> Come. Take him. He's no use to me anymore. Kill him or take him. I'm finished with him. We are declaring ourselves. God has told his messenger to declare Islam to all men. Open the windows. Let the world hear. We are coming out of the darkness. Hear well the word of God. Hear well the messenger of God. We are all the one of God, but God, and Muhammad is his messenger. We are all the one of God, but God, and Muhammad is his messenger. We have come into light. and his rebellion called Islam are coming out to foul our gods and dethrone religion. Don't let them reach the Kaaba. Throw them back. Defend your God! <laughs>
Now's the time to break them. There are only 30 of them. No. We've done enough. More will only create sympathy for them. Most merciful. Say, oh, you who reject faith, I worship not what Keep you worship. Keep out of the Kaaba. Neither them will out. you worship what I worship. Silence, your false prophet. Finish, Muhammad. Protect the prophet. Messenger of God, back to the corner. brave. He is the bravest man in the desert when he meets unarmed men. Muhammad is, is a liar. Liar? But you don't let him speak. Where's the lie and where's the truth when it hasn't been spoken yet? Muhammad is a fraud. Stand up. Hit me back if you dare. I am for my nephew's religion, and I say what he says. Whoever has the courage to fight, fight with me. thought that Hamza, Hamza above all, with his wine drinking, lion hunting, will come to join Mohammed. The more we attack him, the more they seem to join him. Where does he find his words? I don't know him. How can an illiterate man go up on a mountain and come down three days later, blazing with poetry. If it were just poetry, he says it's God. How do we fight someone whose strength we do not understand? Mohammed promises heaven, trees in the sky. So, naturally, he's found an audience. Then we must make that audience less eager to listen to him. We will begin with the weaker ones. Your turn. Have 
Stretch me. Stretch her. <laughs> Who is your God? Answer me. Say it. Say who is your God. Say it. There is only one God. And the Mohammed is the messenger of God. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>